Well, plenty is known about the eighth president of the United States, Kinderhook's own Martin Van Buren. Less is known about his wife, Hannah. Historians and family members alike have had trouble keeping her story straight, such as the basic facts is her name. Born in the insular Dutch community of Kinderhook in 1783, Jan Hannah Hoes grew up with Martin Van Buren, and legend has it, they were childhood sweethearts. After studying to be a lawyer in New York City, Barton returned to Hannah and the two wed on February 21st, 1807. A year later, the young couple moved to Hudson with their newborn son, Abraham. After four years, the Van Burens moved to Albany when Martin won a seat in the state senate. Hannah's home became overrun, not only with more children, but with her husband's political cronies, including lawyers, aides, and other men of influence. The home was a revolving door of Albany political players, and it is now seen as the birthplace of the first Democratic Party machine in the country. While Martin was busy playing political chess, Hannah's focus was on local charities and raising her sons. Hannah contracted tuberculosis, making her gaunt and weak. She became pregnant again, and after her fifth son, she knew she wouldn't recover. She made sure that all funeral funds went to feed the poor in the city of Albany and succumbed to her illness on February 5, 1819. We don't know how her husband reacted to her death, but we do know that Martin rarely spoke about Hannah for the rest of his life. So little that her son John wrote a letter to his father when his daughter was born. We all agree to name it after my mother. Was her name Anna or Hannah? 18 years after my death, Martin would go on to make history as the 8th President of the United States. Being the first president born after the revolution, the first president from New York, the first president whose first language wasn't English but Dutch, and the first president with no wife to serve as first lady.